Welcome back trainers and in this video we have a lot of information to go over here. We have the next season as far as some details are concerned, not everything, but we're going to be going over a few things here and make sure you have notifications on because today is going to be a bombshell of information or at least news that I'm going to be dropping and you do not want to miss the next videos. But with this said, let's go ahead and just hop right into this. We have quite a few things to go over. So the Shared Skies is going to be starting June 1st and then ending on September 3rd, a little bit different this time around. The bonuses for this season are going to be, are you ready for this? All right, let's get into it. One additional special trade can be made for a maximum of two per day. So that's costume Pokemon, shiny Pokemon, legendaries, and some of the mythicals that can be traded. You're gonna be able to do two of those a day. Increase XP for the first catch of the day. <laughs> uh, increased chance to earn an XL candy when walking with your buddy. A chance, what does that mean, a chance, okay? I don't like these words when they throw out a chance. That means not happening, okay? So there are your bonuses for, for this month or for this season. How does that sound? Does that look good for you all? All right. Uh, and then they go on to talk about, you know, they're going to be introducing the Crows Madon Wings. We already know that. That's not necessarily new news. And Mars Shadow is going to be making its entrance. It's going to be a ghost and fighting type. I definitely think you should start saving up your uh, XL candies to invest in that because it's going to probably be pretty good. It's going to get counter, okay? Uh, as far as Go Battle League is concerned, it looks like we're going to be seeing the Ultra Premier making a return, Master Premier as well, let's go, Summer Cup, it's going to be a good summer folks, I'm excited here, not necessarily for this game, eh, a little bit, eh, a little bit, it's going to be pretty fun, but just summer in general, Fossil Cup, Great League, and Remix, and more, alright, Research Breakthrough Pokemon, you have a Suyin Growlithe, Larvitar, Adino, Axew, Furfru, and Jengmo, oh, which could be shiny once it does get released, so look out for that one as well. Uh, spawns for the city are going to be Magneton, Houndour, Ralts, Makahita, Skitty, Trubbish, and Detonate. Uh, there's several good ones within this, but it really per it's on your, your own end for a preference that you are looking for. Forest, Bellsprout, Ladybug, Sunkern, Lanoon, Breloom, Skaroopy, and Fungus. I still need a shiny Skaroopy. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! Mountain, Diglett, Shuckle, uh, Slackoth, Vibraba, Excadrill, Dwebble, and Baneri. Northern Hemisphere, we do have Hisuian Growlithe, Skarmory for spawns, right? Trico, uh, Torchic, Mudkip, Clampearl, and Beldum. And then in the Southern Hemisphere, we do have Scyther, Hisuian, Sneasel, Bagon, Turtwig, Chimchar, Piplup, and Bronzor. Okay? All right. And then onto the two kilometer eggs, we have Shelder, Pichu, Togepi, Smoochums, and Woobat. Five kilometer eggs, Vanillite, Cutie Fly, Sprigatigo, Foycoco, and Quagsley. I remember what I couldn't even say those damn names. All right, let's go. All right, five kilometer eggs from Adventure Seek is going to be Gligar, Kranidos, Shieldon, Chingling, and Mantank. Okay? Seven kilometer eggs, just, just the regular ones. Alolan Geodude, all right, you already know you're loving that. Galarian Slowpoke, Galarian Surfetched, Alolan Grimer, Stunfisk, okay. All right, and then we have various different Pokemon out of the uh, routes, Poke Eggs there. I, yeah, I don't look, I don't even mess with the routes, so you do what you gotta do with that. That's coming from Mateo, when you do give him a gift, he'll give you an egg, right? Regular 10 kilometer eggs, Gumi's gonna be in there. Not that it really matters because we're gonna get a community day, so don't worry about it. Still need shiny Amora. And then 10 kilometer eggs from the Avengers sink, you have uh, Amolga, Dino, Gumi, Rockruff, and Turtonator. All right, and then you're gonna get a free uh, monthly research. Okay, so each month you're gonna get a free research, okay? On top of probably 15 to $20 worth of tickets each month, I can guarantee you that. All right, so with that said, let's hop into some of these other information here. So, events. Let's go ahead and take a look at the raids that we're going to be seeing here. Uh, five star raids, you're going to be seeing Zapdos making a return, Landorus, Yveltal, and Ho-Oh. And we did see a trailer from them, a more extended one, and it looks like the Apex Ho-Oh is coming back. Or should I say Lugia? If you were not able to get that Apex, then it might be your opportunity to get one here. I'm not too sure if we already had one, but we're going to be able to receive another one. But I know a lot of people did miss out on that, so look out for that. There was really no mention of it in here, but it was in that trailer. It did have like the, you know, the shadow plus the little thunder around it, and only the Apex have that. So there you have those five-star raids there. Mega raids, you see, you're going to see Gyarados, Alakazam, 
Charizard, and Omega Tyranitar. Shadow Raids are going to be Raikou. All right, now we have several different events here lined up. So Stadium Sites is going to be from June 1st until June 4th. And then uh, Stumbling Sands is going to be from June 7th until the 12th. And then we do have a Community Day on the 9th. Then we do have the Coves going down from June 15th until the 18th. Look, a lot of these events, we don't know what they are, okay? I'm just going to go over them. Unfortunately, the last one here is going to be a little bit of a letdown, and we're going to make another video on that. And then from June 21st until the 25th, we have the Scorching Steps. And on June 22nd, we have another Community Day. That's going to be a classic. And then on June 28th until July 3rd, you're going to see an 8th anniversary party. I can't believe it's been that long. That is insane. And then on June 29th, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this one? You're going to see Mega Rayquaza Raids in Elite Raids. That's right. Elite Raids. If you're not familiar with that, those are going to be the old EX gyms, specifically designated locations where you're going to have an egg that is going to have a very long timer on it. And then they're only going to last for like an hour. Okay, or something like that once they hatch. It's so stupid. The, the plus side to this is Mega Rayquaza is extremely easy to take down. I wouldn't say extremely easy, but if you have a lot of the top ice type attackers, you're gonna be looking okay. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But there you go. <clears throat> Mega Rayquaza is coming back in Elite Raid, so no mention of a meteorite. So we'll see what happens. They could distribute those during like they'll say like, all right, once you defeat your first one, you'll get one. And then after that, you just defeat it and get your regular rewards. Probably that could happen. I hope that's what they do. Raid hours are going to be Zapdos on June 5th. And Landorus, Incarnate Form on June 12th. Yveltal, June 19th. And also June 26th. So if you need Yveltal, hey, go for it. It's going to be shiny. It's a... Pretty damn good Pokemon for sure, as a flying type, as well as a dark type attacker. It's not gonna be top tier, but definitely good for you to have in your arsenal. And then for the spotlight hours, you're gonna see Makahita, uh, four times two candy on June 4th. And then Wingo on June 11th, four times two transfer candy. Rog and Rolla on June 18th, four times two XP when you evolve. And then finally, ha we have Morlul, which can be shiny for times two Stardust. When you do catch those, that's gonna be the best one. And uh, there you have it. So folks, like I said, this was just a quick breakdown here. I'm going to be bringing you some more information that you definitely do not want to miss. And it's hilarious. It's regarding, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. Avatars. Niantic has done something. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm sure you already know if you're in the loop of what's going on here. But I'm going to bring it down and uh, break it down and see what we have going on. But hey, there you have it, folks. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like these news flashes, please do give it a thumbs up. And uh, like I said, it's going to be a big news day. We're going to talk about that Rayquaza a little bit more. And there's actually another little secret event that has been dropped that I have made no mention of. So uh, make sure you do have notifications on and I will keep you up to date. No battles today. It's just news. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.